I'd ask if you're the trainee everyone's talking about, but I know having access to the PC means not engaging in WWE gossip. An exclusive for my podcast is not worth getting kicked out of here, but could be cool for my listeners to hear about a match between a WWE recruit and the indie wrestler who's training here today. That's not breaking any rules, right?
Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. And by evaluate, you mean you're going to face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here, so we wanted to give you a new challenge. That all sounds good to me. So who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. But being a tougher opponent would be more impressive to the GMs and potentially open more doors. But if you lost, risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, what's it gonna be? <laughs> I wanna really impress the GMs. Give me Drew McIntyre. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait! We almost forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain, old, boring training gear. Uh, no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. Thanks, guys. Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you gonna face anyway? I'm taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him. And show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Wait, so you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. It's called being smart and putting myself in the best position to succeed. Maybe you should try it sometime. But good luck getting a contract with whatever half-baked decision you made. I am so jacked for this PC showcase. I had a dream last night that I beat Paragon and was signed by Mandy Rose to Raw. But well, man, the dream got crazy. Uh, but we don't need to get into that. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one shot. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together. Work out together, eat together. I know, we could do a lot of things together. All right, well, good luck in your match. I'm gonna go buy a new suit to impress the GMs, specifically Mandy Rose. If our real life connection is anything like it was in my dream, there's gonna be fireworks when we meet. Uh, not literally like pyro or anything. I mean like the romantic kind. Yeah, I get it, Chase. Good luck with all that.
I've heard a lot about you, and you didn't disappoint with your win over Drew McIntyre today. With that being said, I'd like to offer you the opportunity to sign with NXT. I look forward to dominating NXT and using it as a stepping stone to bigger things. A bit pompous, are you? I have a feeling you might be singing a different tune after you see what NXT is all about. In fact, with that attitude, you might become the stone that gets stepped on. I look forward to proving you wrong. Heard you got signed. Thanks. What's the matter? Comparing yourself to that's bro. Right. Chase. That's Chase. Hey, I heard you're going to NXT. Looks like I'll have some company. You signed with NXT too? Yeah, I just spoke with Regal. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. We should look out for each other there. I'm gonna focus on myself right now. This is too big of an opportunity to get sidetracked by anyone else's drama. Whatever you need to do. But know that I got your back if you need it. You're looking at the Blue Brand's newest superstar. Good for you. I'm gonna do the same thing in NXT, but without the lame nickname. Whatever. I'd say I'll be watching on NXT, but I'll be too busy dominating SmackDown. But if you ever make it out of the minors, let me know. Congrats on getting signed to NXT. I think you're gonna do big things there. Thanks for saying that. Especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. That's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? So basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be watching. of Superstar.
Hold on, Cameron Grimes isn't waiting for the match to start. Grimes' opponent insulted him on social media. What do you expect? This is an overreaction, to say the least.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 237 pounds, The Punisher, Angelo Danielson. When this competitor, known for wanting the spotlight, first reported to the Performance Center, some believed it was done to bring attention to himself. But then he wasted little time pulling out all the stops to prove his desire to become a WWE superstar. Superstar to ever wear a hat. Can you blame Grimes for what he did? Uh, yeah, I can, and so did Grimes' mentor, Jeff Hardy. When the guy who trained you is calling you out, you clearly messed up. Whatever. Grimes is gonna send his opponent to the moon again, and maybe this time you can go with him, Saxton. Stomping. Ouch. That unraveled on Grimes. Oh, perfect kick. Left and right. Over and is it Fracture in orbital. Got it scouted. Evades the up. Cameron Grimes with the cave in. Grimes hits the referee. That's on the referee. He needs to be more aware when Grimes is about to send his opponent to the moon. Well, now it looks like Cameron Grimes is going to send his opponent a message with a baseball bat. It's Jeff Hardy! The charismatic enigma is here in NXT! But why? It appears he's trying to encourage his former student to take the high road here. What the heck? What was that all about? Now that's more like it. Shocking actions from his so-called mentor, Jeff Hardy. Hey, you may not like how it went down, but at the end of the day, Jeff Hardy and Cameron Grimes are like family. And that means Hardy's going to help Grimes get ahead in WWE, no matter what that entails. That's fine, but be upfront about it. Hardy was chastising Cameron Grimes on social media for using tactics like this, and then he turns around and does the same thing. Hopefully we'll get some kind of explanation from the charismatic enigma before long.
They are ready for a fight. The following contest is a tag team tables, ladders, and chairs match. And at a combined weight of 476 pounds, the Punisher, Angelo Danielson, and Dexter Loomis, they're Brace yourselves for the charismatic enigma. We've seen Jeff Hardy in plenty of TLC matches, but this is his first alongside his little brother, Cameron Grimes. You have to think Hardy's TLC experience gives him an edge here tonight. Are you two just ignoring the fact that the mystery partner turned out to be Dexter Loomis, a man who tormented Cameron Grimes on numerous occasions? This was a brilliant move that could take Grimes off the face. suplex. Stomping away. Ooh, stinging kick. And he goes for the pin. And Grimes capitalizes there. That was a long two count there. A counter answered by another counter. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Great athleticism. to the gut. Yeah. That didn't go as Hardy pictured. He's one step ahead there. Oh, God. Knee meets face. And that one is scouted. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. And your mouth of what it would do to his confidence if he tapped out. Save. How close was that? Hits him with the counter. Able to reverse. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. And Super. That is What a beautiful moveset. Big kick. Here comes the pitch. Set up for the rip card, Larry. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Would you come into a TLC match? As Grimes in his grasp. Wow, the red got 